Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Obedience to Allah and His Messenger. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, who says in His ever glorious book, So people, respond to your Lord before there comes a day that cannot, against Allah's will, be averted. You will have no refuge on that day and no possibility of denying your sins. The Almighty Allah also said, There will be the best of rewards for those who respond to their Lord. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. When contemplating the glorious Qur'an, one finds a clear call for the happy and good life and for salvation in this world and in the hereafter through responding to the commands of the Almighty Allah and His Messenger, peace be upon Him. The Almighty Allah says, O believers, respond to Allah and His Messenger when He calls you to that which gives you life. The Almighty Allah also says, is a dead person brought back to life by us and given light with which to walk among people comparable to someone trapped in deep darkness who cannot escape. In another verse, the Almighty Allah says, To whoever, male or female, does good deeds and has faith, we shall give a good life and reward them according to the best of their actions. There is no doubt that responding to the Almighty Allah and His Messenger, peace be upon Him, is the path of sincere believers who are guided to thank Allah for His blessings by using the bounties that Allah has given them in hearing the truth and responding to it. As the Almighty Allah says, only those who can hear will respond. Moreover, the response to the commands of Allah is the conduct of prophets and the close angels. When Allah, glory be to him, commanded Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, to build an ark in the desert, where there are no rivers or seas, he accepted the command of the Almighty Allah, as the Almighty Allah said, Build the ark under our watchful eyes and with our inspiration. Do not plead with me for those who have done evil. They will be drowned. So he be began to build the ark, and whenever leaders of his people passed by, they laughed at him. He said, You may scorn us now, but we will come to scorn you. And when Allah commanded Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, to call people for Hajj, saying, Proclaim the pilgrimage to all people. They will come to you on foot and on every kind of a swift mount, emerging from every deep mountain. Prophet Ibrahim answered, O oh my Lord, how shall my voice reach people? Allah said, Proclaim it, but it is me who conveys it. Likewise, when the Almighty Allah commanded him to slaughter his son, he responded positively along with his son Ismail, peace be upon him, and surrendered to Allah's command. The Almighty Allah said, We gave him the good news that he would have a patient son. When the boy was old enough to work with his father, Abraham said, My son, I have seen myself sacrificing you in a dream. What do you think? He said, Father, do as you're commanded, and Allah willing, you will find me steadfast. When they had both submitted to Allah, and he had laid his son down on the side of his face, we called out to him, Abraham, you have fulfilled the dream. This is how we reward those who do good. It was a test to prove their true characters. We ransomed his son with a momentous sacrifice. The, com the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, set the best examples in responding to Allah and his messenger, peace be upon him. During the battle of Hamra al-Asad, they obeyed the command of the Almighty Allah and His Messenger. In spite of the pains and troubles they faced on the battle of Uhud, 
This was why the glorious Quran praised them saying, those who responded to Allah and the Messenger after suffering defeat, who do good and remain conscious of Allah, will have a great reward. Also in the incident of changing the direction of prayer from Bayt al-Maqdis to the Kaaba, the companions responded positively. They were praying towards Bayt al-Maqdis when a man came to tell them that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had received revelation commanding him to turn towards the Kaaba in prayer. They turned immediately to it. Moreover, once the Prophet, peace be upon him, saw a group of poor people who were barefoot and naked, he, peace be upon him, became so upset for that and said, Every man may give in charity a dinar, a dirham, clothes, a measure of wheat and dates till he said, Give in charity, be it half a date. A man of the Ansar came with a bag which was difficult for him to hold in his hand. Therefore, thereafter, the people came successively with charity, till the face of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was glowing like that of the bright moon. The response of the companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in abandoning what Allah has prohibited, was as fast as their response in obeying his commands. When the Almighty Allah revealed to the Prophet the Quranic verse, you who believe intoxicants and gambling, idolatrous practices, and dividing with arrows or repugnant acts, Satan's doing, shun them so that you may prosper. They said, we abstain from it, O our Lord. We abstain from it, O our Lord. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The Almighty Allah honors those who respond positively to his commands and the commands of his Prophet, peace be upon him. As he glory be to him, grants them complete forgiveness, salvation and paradise on the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah said, Respond to the one who calls you to Allah. Believe in him. He will forgive you your sins and protest you from and protect you from a painful torment. As the result comes in conformity with the action, Allah accepts the supplication of those who respond to his commands. Allah said, Prophet, if my servants ask you about me, I am near. I will respond to those who call me. So let them respond to me and believe in me, so that they may be guided. Allah, glory be to him, also said, The Lord has answered them. I will not allow the deeds of any one of you to be lost, whether you're male or female. In another Quranic verse, the Almighty Allah said, Your Lord says, Call on me and I will answer you. Those who are too proud to serve me will enter hell humiliated. How much we need to obey the commands of Allah and his messenger peace be upon him as this is the conduct of true believers. The Almighty Allah said when the true believers are summoned to Allah and his messenger in order for him to judge between them, they say, we hear and we obey. These are the ones who are the successful. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and all countries of the world.